When some think of the Northeast, they think of this. Not me. On Backwoods Angler TV, we'll take you to the other side of the most densely populated area of the country. You got it that time. Backwoods is an attitude. Backwoods is a state of mind. Backwoods can be in the remote sections of Maine or under a New Jersey interstate. Backwoods is where we live. Backwoods is where we fish. Backwoods Angler TV, your freshwater fishing authority for the Northeast. Catch it all here. Brought to you by Ace Recreational Marine Insurance. Ensuring progress. Golden Valley Natural, all natural jerky and snacks. The Delaware County, New York Chamber of Commerce. And by the Sullivan County, New York Visitors Association. A Pacton Reservoir in Delaware County, New York is our destination today on Backwoods Angler TV. One of New York City's drinking supply reservoirs, the Papacton was created in 1955 by damming up one quarter of the east branch of the Delaware River. Papacton is a skinny, winding reservoir covering over 15 miles of Delaware County in New York. Known for its excellent population of brown trout and panfish, the reservoir is fast becoming known as a smallmouth bass fishing destination. Part of the reason for this great fishing is the limited access to the water reducing the pressure these fish see. Being a drinking water reservoir, the Papacton has special regulations for each boat on the water. Your boat must be non-motorized and have a free DEP access permit to the reservoir. Before launching, each angler must obtain a New York fishing license. Each boat must be steam cleaned at a designated vendor prior to entering the waterway. The access may be limited, but once you take care of these procedures, the fishing opportunities are endless. Reservoirs are rowboat only. The best bet is to pick and choose the right day to be out here. You don't want to be out here when there's a 20 mile an hour wind blowing. We're 50 yards off the boat ramp right now, and I've got six fish in the boat already. I got this magic stick Texas rigged right now because I'm fishing a rocky flat with these little stick-ups. And I want to get right in them stick-ups. So we had a full moon just a couple of days ago, so there's going to be fish up shallow, but I'm hoping that because it's been cold, there's still some fish with some big old bellies in them. He was swimming back at me with it, too. Whoa, we got an acrobat here, boys. A little bit better. So I found this rocky drop off and I'm into slightly better quality fish. That's still not quite what I'm looking for, but see that tube is not in the gullet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the point of my finger. I'm gonna go right inside the bend of the hook, push down and pop that tube right out. Fish didn't even know what happened. These fish are post-spawn and they're out off this rock. There's, there's a quick rock drop-off. Nice fish. Catch 30 of those in a day, that's all right. That was a fun one there. Bad Smalley. Cookie cutter, man. Hey, that fish is eating too. Fish has a nice belly on her there. That's a nice quality bass there. I've got the boat positioned. 13 feet of water, dropped an anchor on our little G3 rowboat, and I'm working, I'm kind of fan casting because I'm finding fish on this little intermediate drop as well as up here, they're, they're a little shallower than they were off that point, so. Still haven't found that big old four pound bronze back, don't go away. 
Come back and see if yours truly finds that bigger fish I'm looking for. Backwoods Angler TV brought to you by Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. Zico Shoes. Shimano. And by Dorsey Flashlights. Coming up on Backwoods Angler TV. That is fun, man. F-U-N, fun. Funness. That's a good smallmouth. We found her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Backwoods Angler TV is brought to you by the Delaware River Smallmouth Bass Fishing Handbook. Tips and techniques, tactics and information on seasonal patterns for any river situation. These are the techniques Blaine uses 200 days a year guiding on the Delaware River. Pick up your copy today at shop.backwoodsanglertv.com. North America and International Fair Chase is a full-time hunting and fishing consulting service. Contact us to discuss how we can make your dream trip a reality. Huntwithbutch.com Unforeseen accidents on the water can and will happen on occasion. If you do happen to suffer a boating accident, you'll want insurance that includes all coverages you'll need to get you back on the water quickly. Ace Recreational Marine Insurance provides all this plus added coverage for your fishing equipment, protection against uninsured boaters and theft, and even coverage for torment bass boats, all for a reasonable price. I'm Blaine Mangle, and this is why I have my boat insured with Ace. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by Ace Recreational Marine Insurance. Catch it all here. Landing a trip to the shore? Make the Cape Cod Inn your destination. We're a family-friendly motel just steps from the beach. You'll love those Wildwood days. Check us out and book your room today. Eric J. Conrad, Mark B. Stanziola, and Paraskevula Mamunez of Thomas Conrad & Conrad, a firm providing over 25 years of personal injury and family law practice. An unexpected injury can be an awful and painful experience and medical bills can pile up. Let us help you get the money you deserve. There's no fee if there's no recovery. We also handle divorce, custody, support, and more. Plus, we have multiple offices throughout the Lehigh Valley and surrounding areas for your convenience. Call today. Klein Farms Dairy and Creamery, located in Forks Township, just north of Easton, offers you wholesome natural foods straight from the source. We are licensed by the state of Pennsylvania to sell raw milk, and also available is our all-natural yogurt, mozzarella, regatta, and flavored cheese spreads. Check out our large assortment of artisanal cheeses, including cheddar, colby, and gouda. We also carry beef, eggs, and local honey. So buy fresh, buy local. Stop by Klein Farms Dairy and Creamery today. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by Wacky Worm, Solarbat, Rapala, Lakeside Marine in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and by Case Plastics. Welcome back to Papacton Reservoir Smalley Fishing today on Backwoods Angler TV. The Papacton is a New York State drinking water reservoir, and to have a rowboat on these waters, you must have it steam cleaned at a designated vendor like Al's Sports Store in Downsville. Steam cleaning removes invasive species like zebra mussels and substances from boats that might otherwise contaminate the water supply. The procedure only takes a few minutes and you can stop into Al's Tackle Shop to get your last minute items like live bait, maps, or Papacton memorabilia. Canoe and kayak rentals are also available for fishing or boating on the East Branch. We're out on the reservoir in late May when smallies will usually be found cruising rocky flats or protecting their beds. A jerkbait is usually my go-to lure for locating post-spawn bronze. Better jerkbait fish, anyway. <laughs> Ooh, what a fighter. Long, skinny, post-spawn bass, huh? Just got done telling my cameraman we got a little bit of a breeze that started to chop this water up a little bit. That sometimes makes all the difference in the world for a jerkbait bite. That was the first cast with that X-Wrap. That is fun, man. F-U-N, fun. Funness.
rowboat fishing for feisty reservoir smallies. And the X-Wrap is the way to go to when, when fish are aggressive on flats. Water temp's 59 degrees. I've got male smallmouth all over my jerk bait. Just kind of combing in these flat areas here where the depth drops from about that four or five range to 15. Ripping this jerk bait and so far. Those big fish are eluding me again. We're into plenty of fish. Boy, I was moving that one really aggressively. Respectable fish. Little male. A lot of fish that size in these reservoirs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Males combing the flats. I'm looking for your mama. Now I started moving that jerk bait extremely aggressively. I was pausing it. There's another one. Wow. They want it really aggressive. Okay. Feels a little better. Either that or he's foul hooked. Backwards Angler TV today. Foul hooking jerk bait fish in the head with. That's why he fought so much. <laughs> Dude, you are in a predicament and a half. I'm gonna tell you. A lot of smallmouth that size in these New York City reservoirs. I wanna tell you, man, are they, they just keep you busy all day long, I tell you. I picked up my jerk bait and I was fishing it. I was pa there's another one. <laughs> I was pausing it a lot. They don't want it paused at all. They want me ripping it. These male smallies are in these flats. And when they're guarding they get, fry and stuff like that, they get they want me ripping it. They get to where they're very aggressive and they'll compete for a lure. Man, I'll tell you what, they're they're hot fish. They're not. Not quite the size we're looking for, but they are hot, mad male smallmouth. The feeding bass seem to be in that five to eight foot range. And they seem like they're all males and they're cruising. And they are hitting the jerk bait with authority. And they want that jerk bait as aggressive as you can rip it. Pause it briefly in between twitches, but they are just hammering it. You sometimes get three or four of them that'll try and hit the same lure at once. That's what happened right there. There were probably six or eight bass competing for that jerk bait. Stay tuned as I pick my way towards my trophy here on Papacton Reservoir. We found her! Come on back and join us. During the break, visit the shop at BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. We've got DVDs, books, lures, and more. <laughs> what is with this thing? Tips and techniques for fishing the Northeast or wherever you are. That is a quality bass, no matter how you slice it, no matter where you catch it. KGT Unique Gifts. With one stop, you can show her how much you really appreciate all she does at home. Visit www.kgtuniquegifts.net. When it comes to fishing, there's a fine line between failure and success. There's a fine line between winning and losing. There's a fine line between the trophy and just another fish story. That line is 
Gamma. Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. The Coopersburg Diner and Family Restaurant, conveniently located in the center of Coopersburg on Route 309 between Allentown and Quakertown. Come and enjoy great homemade entrees, delicious desserts, and friendly atmosphere. Now offering corporate and private catering for your family celebration, business banquet, or any special occasion. Open daily from 5.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. Come see why everyone loves the Coop. Do you own an outboard jet motor? Backwoods Angler TV's new DVD, 30 Minute PM, Outboard Jet Preventative Maintenance is sure to save you money from repairs and it will keep you on the water and on the fish. Average size fish for the big D. Nice little smallie. You know, with the waterways full of anglers and their families, it's everybody's responsibility to stay sober and maintain safe waterways. Alcoholic beverages are the single number one factor in all fatal boat accidents. Stay sharp on the water by leaving the alcohol on dry land. There's no mystery to boating safety. Understanding and obeying navigational rules and safety procedures like this one have proven to save lives while reducing injuries and property damage. Having the proper boat insurance in place will provide stress-free and enjoyable boating. Go to acemarineinsurance.com to find a local ACE agent who can help you with customized coverage at competitive rates. Today's Ace Recreational Marine Insurance Boating Safety Tip. Don't mix drinking and boating. Welcome back to my rowboat outing in the Catskill Mountains. A packed in reservoir has a 15 foot length size limit on boats and a rowboat offers the best stability and control on a big waterway. That's a good fish. On the magic stick, wacky rig. Switched it off there a little bit, got me a nice, nicer smallie. From a rowboat. From a rowboat? With no trolling motor. This is about my 17th or 18th bass of the morning. Backwoods Angler TV. <laughs> Rowing in the Catskill Mountains, ladies and gentlemen, on the Pacton Reservoir. I switched to the case magic stick there. Wacky, the first cast, that fish grabbed it. I'm just switching back and forth, trying, no problem catching two pound smallmouth out here. I'm looking for that one elusive big one, and I'm told that there's fives and sixes all over this reservoir. I'm gonna try and get one, man. I'm still after him, still after him. Whatever I have to do, I'm gonna go get one. There. That's about probably 17. I think you could might even stretch that to 18, but there's no belly. They're all post-spawn fit. I'm gonna tell you what. Trout Town USA, they call this. Yeah, for a smallie in a, in a trout infested region, huh? How about that? That's a good smallmouth right there. More New York Smallies coming up on Backwoods Angler TV when we come back. Backwoods Angler TV presents Coldwater River Fishing Secrets. In this seminar series on DVD, Blaine and Chris cover all your questions. 
where, when, and how to locate river smallmouth in the coldest weather. For this and other DVDs on bass fishing techniques for any situation, visit BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. Mountain Man Outdoor Supply, a leading wholesale distributor of hunting and fishing supplies. Highest quality yet affordable gear for the outdoorsman. Family operated, located in central PA. Visit MountainManOutdoorSupply.com. As anglers, we really need to understand the importance of both eye protection and eye wear. SolarBat is determined to offer performance polarized sunglasses for all sports enthusiasts at a great value so that all customers can afford performance polarized eyewear. For an added value, BWA TV fans will receive 10% off the original price when they enter the promo code BWA TV at checkout at SolarBat.com. Fishing the Catskills? Stop by Al's Sports Store in Downsville, New York. From lures and rods, live bait, hunting supplies, and more, Al's got you covered. Get your boat steam cleaned or rent a kayak and canoe to get out on the water. The Downsville Motel is available for longer stays. There's a variety of room sizes, including a large apartment, each directly on the waterfront. Visit alsportstore.com for more info. Have Blaine Mengel speak at your next game dinner or church event. Contact Blaine at BackwoodsAnglerTV.com for bookings. Papactin is a Lenny Lenape Indian word meaning marriage of the waters, perhaps referring to the meeting of the east and west branches of the Delaware River just downstream from the reservoir in Hancock, New York. Papactin Reservoir is restricted to non-motorized boats only, which on this wet spring afternoon left me singing in the rain. Rowing. Rowing, rowing on the pack. Yep. Those of you who watch Backwoods Angler TV on a regular basis know full well that we never, ever shoot in normal weather conditions. There's always some sort a foulness to the weather. Oh, that's more like it. That's not a bad smallie. That's a good smallie. Roller boat, smallmouth in the rain on Papacton Reservoir on Backwoods Angler TV. We're in the Catskill Mountains. We're not catching trout either, we're catching these beauties. In the beginning of the day, I was throwing a whole bunch of different lures. We're catching fish on, on jerk baits and tubes and top water. Top water smallmouth. Now I'm in shallow and I'm finding these, these post-spawn fish on shallow flats with rock. And I was throwing my, my Case Magic Stick Texas rigged and they weren't eating it. I switched it to wacky and they won't not eat it. So if you're throwing if you're throwing it one way and they're not eating it, you know the fish are around, try throwing it the other way. Sometimes that'll be all the difference in the world. That wacky style seems to be a much more finesse style. When they're really shallow and they're really aggressive, they'll eat it Texas rig. But the wacky rig stick worm is a sure bet when bass are shallow and they won't eat other lures. fish was up in there shallow because I cast it and she was headed toward the middle of the reservoir before I even realized she was there. I'm glad she wasn't. Got oh, that's what I, I like them. These fish are cool. These fish are really cool. When I fall asleep at the wheel, they don't gut hook themselves. <laughs>
That's really good. And they're hot fish, man. They are fighting like crazy. One important thing with those stick worms is a very, very, very quick hook set. They hit those things when they're shallow. They'll hit them on the fall, and sometimes you won't feel them. You've got to be very quick at the trigger, and you want to keep a taut line while letting that bait fall so you can feel your bites. Because if you throw it in there and you keep it on a slack line, you're not going to feel it, and that fish is going to get gut hooked. And that's never a good thing. Those, those smaller hooks, those smaller octopus and drop shot style hooks on stick worms are really cool. Because as you can see, most of these fish are right in the upper lip. Bertha right there, ladies and gentlemen. We found her. We found her. Yeah, baby. That's the one I've been looking for all morning, all day. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Mm. How many of you doubted? I did. I was doubting it. There, a beautiful post-spawn trophy. Catskill smallmouth. Three weeks or a month ago with an egg belly, that fish is a four and a half plus probably. She's probably not even four now, three and a half maybe. Fish was right on that branch. I flipped to that branch and she was right on that branch. If there's a piece of wood on a lake or reservoir like this with rock or gravel nearby, they will spawn on it almost every time. Oh, baby, go to BackwoodsAnglerTV.com for more information on Catskill fishing, on Delaware River fishing, on Vermont fishing, on fishing anywhere in the Northeast. I'm Blaine Mangle for Backwoods Angler TV. Good fishing, man. That was worth staying out in the rain for. Ah. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by these fine sponsors.